Today we're going to be making an occupied bed. I've already done my beginning five and I've gathered my supplies, which are a bath blanket, a pillowcase, a fitted sheet, a draw sheet or a turn sheet, a flat sheet or a top sheet, and a bedspread. I also have gathered my linen bag, which I've already placed on the chair over here so that I can put my dirty linens into the bag. So what I need to do is I need to raise the bed <coughs> to a comfortable working height. So I'm going to make sure the brake is on, which it is. I'm going to raise the bed. And remove the call light. I'm going to um, loosen the bed linens all the way around the bed. Make sure the mattress is pushed to the head of the bed also at this time. And if the linens were soiled, I would apply my gloves. going to remove the bedspread. Making sure my patient stays covered. I'm going to roll this away from my uniform, keep it away from me. All the time I'm going to be looking for personal items in the linens. And I'm going to put this in my linen bag. And then I'm going to cover my patient with a bath blanket for warmth and privacy. Remove the top sheet as well. Put that in my used linen as well. Now I'm going to assist my patient to turn over on to his side, keeping the patient as covered as possible. And I'm going to roll my linens toward the center of the bed. If a mattress pad was used at this time, I would place my mattress pad on the mattress. However, I do not use a mattress pad at this facility, so I will put on the fitted sheet. Fan folding that inside to the center here. Making 
sure my patient remains comfortable the whole time. And then I'm going to apply my draw sheet or my turn sheet. Also fan folding in the center here. You want to make sure that when you're done making your bed, there's no wrinkles underneath your patient. So I'm going to tuck this in on this side, smooth the sheet out. Get these all the way underneath my patient so that when they turn over, I'm going to assist my patient to turn back over have maybe hold on to the side rail if they're able to. Mr. Smart, I'm going to help you to turn over. At this time, I'm going to take all my supplies over to the other side of the bed. them to turn over. I'm going to remove the draw sheet. And place it in my linen bag. I'm going to remove the bottom sheet. And then I'm going to pull through again. If there was a mattress pad, I would pull that over first. I'm going to pull over my fitted sheet. And my draw sheet. Making sure my patient is comfortable. I'm going to assist my patient to turn on to his back. And I'm going to remove the pillowcase. Excuse me, Mr. Smart. I'm going to place that right there. For the pillowcase, you want to make sure if there's a tag on the pillow that you want to have that facing the inside of the pillowcase or if there would be a zipper on the pillow. You want that facing the inside as well. You want to make sure that you don't let any of the clean linens touch your uniform. And you're going to gently place this back under your patient's head. Make sure there aren't any wrinkles here. At this time, I'm going to put on the top sheet. and the bedspread.
and then I can remove the bath blanket. I'm going to tuck in the bottom of the bed there. I'm going to miter my corners. Put up this side rail and go around and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to miter this corner. Fold back the top of the linen a little bit. Adjusting my patient for comfort. And then back their collite. Lower the bed. And I'm going to dispose of my linen, making sure that I only touch the outside of the bag. And take these with me. I'm going to perform my ending five and take my supplies with me as I go.